So, what does it mean for you to have an opportunity to get third belt in your career? Uh, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, getting that third belt is it's obviously it's massive. It's it's history. It's world wide history and uh, two major promotions, uh, two weight divisions, and uh, you know, uh, four belts is not out of the question for me. I am. Uh, this is this is amazing opportunity for me to be able to to come to KSW, such an amazing promotion, the biggest in Europe, and uh, get the title shot. Being injured in December, I thought uh, this this absolutely horrible. But uh, you know everything happens for a reason, and now I'm fighting the number one guy. I'm fighting Roberto Soldic. is a big name. He's a big fighter, and that's the kind of fights that I want to get my name to show the world that I will be the greatest fighter of all time one day. And for that to happen, you can't have easy fights, and this is not an easy fight. And uh, none of my fights are easy fights. I don't like to pick them. I like the hardest ones, and I like the best ones, and that's exactly what I'm getting here. And it's feeling absolutely amazing. I'm loving it. Okay. Yes, it was, a, it was a very good fight and I think Roberto did absolutely a uh, very good job to, uh, in the way he fought Boris, but in, uh, in the defense of Boris, uh, last second change from an orthodox fighter like myself to a fighter like Roberto who is southpaw, who so is left hand dominant, that's a big change on the short notice and uh, I'm sorry for Boris that I had to pull out the fight, but it's something I had to do. And well done to Roberto for, for taking that fight on short notice. The thing is, with that short notice fight, he had nothing to lose. He, had, uh, he came on 10-day notice, I think. He just went in fought, no pressure, no. He just went in fought and he did a very good job. So obviously, in that fight, it was good. But I'm a completely different fighter from, from Boris, to be honest. Uh, Boris is very short. Yeah, I think he's one seven. I am much, much taller. I'm 15 centimeters taller. I'm, uh, I have a big reach advantage. I'm bigger. I'm stronger. I'm a big welterweight, and uh, that will make a big difference. That will make a big difference in this fight. And uh, it's, uh, I was very impressed with that fight, but I don't think Boris fought the way that he usually does. You know, Boris always yes, goes yeah, forward, and he, he has a good game. But in that fight, it was as if. I'm not sure what happened, um, he got tired quickly, he, uh, he didn't go forward, he, he didn't find his range, he didn't get that, the clinch, so, you know, maybe Roberto did a very good job, but also I don't think Boris was the fighting the way that he, that he, sh that he can fight, and if I was in that fight, then uh, it would have been a much quicker fight, to be honest, the way Boris fought that night. Coming back to KSW41, one question more, uh, after the fight, yeah, um, and this situation uh, and reaction of Roberto when he went to you, um, I suppose it started, uh, it was the point that started bad blood between you both. Is it true? Absolutely. I mean, uh, I don't really know who he is. He knew before they when they announced the fight until I saw him on the night. After the win, obviously I was uh, pumped up, ready. I was like, yeah, that should have been me, should have been me. And uh, he jumped the cage, came in, came to me, and uh, I could see, I could see he was intimidated because I'm, I'm a, I'm a bigger guy, I'm a, a more prominent, prominent guy, and he was obviously intimidated, and he felt the need to come up to me and call me out and get in my face. But like I said on the night, it's usually the ch the challenger that has to call out for the champion, not the other way around. And uh, I think he already sees me as the champion and he's very intimidated and that's why that all happened. But you now it's a fight game and uh, uh, all, all the bad blood, all the, the talk, all everything will be done Saturday night and that's where I'll prove my point and that's where I will become the new champion. Uh, in the area of fought in a higher category uh, weight class, uh, do you think about this uh, fight in middleweight in KSW, for example some super fights? Absolutely, I want to. Um, I'm a. The cut welterweight is a big one. I'm a. Uh, it's uh, it's tough. I, I'm a. I'm a very decent sized middleweight. Not well the way I'm looking now, because now I'm all leaned up for welterweight. But um, I'm fighting welter and middleweight, and uh, for as long as I can. And um, to fight in KSW in the middleweight is definitely on my plans. A super fight, yes, for sure. And uh, definitely, eventually, a title fight. But on Saturday night, I can't say too much because I haven't performed yet. And 
talking without performing is, is, the, is the worst thing. Talking after performing, that's another thing. So hopefully on Saturday night, everybody will see what I can do and what I'm capable of. And uh, a title shot at middleweight will also be something that I'm looking forward to. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank, Thank you, you guys.